happen. Welcome to Louisiana Garden and Family. Today's episode, we gonna uh, repot or we gonna put the uh, kukusa in a pot. Then we gonna try to let it grow in a in a gray myrtle in the front. So I'ma uh, try to get this out in a compost pile. And I'ma uh, put it in a pot where I'm gonna use it to. Uh, so show them why that vine is going down in there. Yeah, this is the uh, this was so small now, and, like it grow big because I keep we all I don't know we keep saying we gonna get it, we gonna get it till we forgot about it. And the day is over. Look like I'm seeing some uh roots coming out right there. Over here. Yes. You have to be careful though. Alright. I uh, hope you got down deep enough, ma'am. Oh, we not. So you got to go all the way around it, right? So. Yeah. And we're not worried about the tomatoes. They got tomatoes all around there. Mm -hmm. really. But I'm uh, trying to say my uh, the oil is probably an orange shirt. Yeah, don't. Uh, you a little too much, yeah. We do have a little orange tree that's right up in there, some kind of citrus tree. Careful, man. All right. All right, now come back from the other side. Come back on the other side. This is what's happening here, is that it's going all the way this way. So I'm going to give you some more. Come, come over here. Up under this, there you go. You can't use it. Go ahead. Yeah, these these tomatoes can easily be repotted, but this thing is what we want to put down in here and get. And that root is uh, that compost. We got to cut it somewhere. Uh, so, all right, I got it. Yeah, there. all right. So, get that shovel under there and don't kill my trees. All right. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So we're gonna add some of that uh potting soil, right? Yeah, we're gonna add some potting soil. Then uh. It should be good to put it on in front of the yard. Well, I'm gonna let it just like climb up to the tree until it start fruiting. But let me get this color right there. Yeah, the tendrils are grabbing the potatoes. <sighs> Actually, they got some more growing over there. Go ahead. Like uh, some more uh, cuckoos. Oh. Some citrus over there coming out. This net is So these are the cuckoos right here. Yeah. Come on, babe. Mm. Oh. So let's check it out. Let's get those vines, those. Uh, what are they call vines? No, roots, not vines. Let's get those roots in some potting soil too, so we can get them out of that air. Yep. Let's put this kukusa. And look how pretty it's pretty big now. It was yeah. just in two weeks it got this big. So we we was trying to move it when it was still little, now it got big and big. Fluffy. No, leave my plan alone. Now we're going to put this all uh, here, somewhere on the uh, clay model. And then we have to come. I'm just, maybe I'm going to just put it over here. Or set it over here somewhere. Or on the other side, maybe. Cause that one too much. Yeah. 
But give us a second. We just need to go clean up a little bit. So we go cut out all this stuff. Just try to uh, put our our cuckoos or our pots in a nice uh, like steady ground before we uh, like put in our cuckoos in there to kind of uh, let it grab inside or whatever sh this thing want to go through I think that's gonna be nice in there so you you're saying that it should kind of Go grow up. straight up whatever if we turn that pot uh, let's like, turn that pot i'm going and, to like like this yeah and then let the whole thing just let it fall naturally the way it was falling already so slide the pot is that good like it's supposed that's the way it was already going yeah yeah so we want it like that to get it steady so we go grab all, all the way like on top of this tree like then hopefully it's gonna grow up all and then it gonna make a uh, fruit when it's like already grow fully grown. This like is still young or uh, kusa which is not gonna make no fruit yet. But we were just trying to put it on the uh murk in the murder water. Yeah. So and also uh, for those that, that know a lot about vining, uh it is in a small pot. But from experience, we know that a lot of times that these roots will come out of the pot through these holes. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the dirt kind of around the pot so where the root won't know that it's out of the pot. And we'll try to get it to actually root into the ground. But we want it right now, as of now, we wanted to use this compost and this potting mix uh, to get the root uh, at least a little bit more developed before it comes out of that pot into the ground. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some uh, like potting mix in the top, into the pot, and the pot, and then that should be it. We just need to water it uh, real good. Then it should be steady till like uh, it gonna start to go around the tree. plant here see all it start growing but still start making food and it should be oh uh, every year sh you shouldn't be oh uh, had to rip like plant another plant over here because it's going to rip all like i mean make a another like plant reseed itself, itself. yeah, yeah. Kind of like Malabar spinach does. As long as you go and keep one, that's like go and make a seed. So this will be a good spot. Then is the entrance into the yard. Uh, so I think it'll be something nice to have some uh, vegetables or fruit kind of hanging off. And that's the same idea that we have on the other side with the Merlinton or Chayote on that uh, fence line there. So as you come into the yard, you kind of be welcomed by our land and the seed and the produce of the land but this is a really good idea uh you really did a good job uh cleaning up that tree really fast uh. only took like about five minutes six minutes to actually get that all cleaned out which was really good and it rained last night so that may have helped with removing the grass from the ground but that was a really good job cutting though so you see how we totally uh, covered yeah. those roots that were exposed. Hopefully they um, 
and we'll, we'll hit it with a little bit of that fishy motion so it can if it has any transplant shot it'll have a little something extra kind of get it through all right there should be enough uh, soil on it then we gonna water we gonna give it a little good water the last thing we're gonna do is we just gonna put a lot like i mean let this thing drink a lot of water water it good then while we water we gonna say grow 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 that's our magic word And I think it's really important to let it get a lot of water when you first do the transplant. So yeah. they don't get shocked. Yeah. You can see that water coming out the bottom. Kind of moving that. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all for watching me replanting or bringing my, uh, my plant, my kukusa in the front and hope you all enjoy it and then next time we all gonna give you all update how we're doing thanks for watching